Good morning, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to pull some cards, yay, and share some guidance for this week ahead. That's this week starting Wednesday the 22nd of February through to uh, Tuesday the 28th of February. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so I'll be pulling some cards. So while you're coming over, I want to send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Um, so Temple of Balance is turning 18 on Saturday, technically, but on Monday, I'll be hosting our 18th birthday activity activities so um, every two hours there will be something happening on zoom uh, for an hour so we're doing drumming guided meditation playing with some cards and even a speed sketching which is going to be lots of fun so there are five different things and there's just a small exchange if you want to come to those so or you can come to one or two and you can receive the videos of the others that you might not be able to make it if the time zone's weird. So have a look on my website if you want to join me for my 18th birthday activities. So we'll be doing it for 10 hours, five over 10 hours. So check it out if you're interested. So no, not my birthday, Temple of Balance's birthday, which I guess is kind of my birthday. It's like my third baby. <laughs> my third baby's turning 18. So, welcome. If you're new to watching, I am using my uh, my oracle cards that I created. We've got Animal Kingdom oracle cards and Speed of Light oracle cards here combined together to make a 110 card deck. So I'll be using this deck, as usual, to find the best cards that the majority of us need for this coming week ahead. I'm not doing personal guidance for individuals. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared supports you at this time. So as always, please think of this as a guide only and take on board what feels right, what resonates and what fits into what you've got going on easily. Take that stuff on board and let the other stuff go that might not resonate with you at this time because it's probably guidance for someone else. So last week our theme was the... The cherry on the top, it was the spirit dragon was our theme last week. Um, and it really was a cherry on the top because it was the only Animal Kingdom Oracle card out of about eight um, other Speed of Light Oracle cards that came up for the main part of last week's reading. So should have been a fairly heightened week last week and uh, maybe quite strong in our spiritual connections. And probably strong in abundance and reasonably good flow or getting back into our flow and our natural rhythm. So quite powerful energy has been about. So let's now look for, let's now look for the um, best cards for this week ahead. So I'm shuffling my cards and asking them to show us, the majority of us, what we need to know for the second, 22nd of February through to the 28th of February, 2023. And the best cards are these. And I'm going to, Lay them out here beside me. So just excuse me, ducking down here for a moment. And we'll see what comes up. So we're going to have two, we've got two rows of four. And we've got five speed of light, three animal kingdom. And let's turn them over. Oh, okay, we've got a card we haven't seen for ages. And then we've got some others that we've seen quite a bit. We've got one featured card, which did come up last week. Actually, it came up for yesterday, for Tuesday. It's the Lizard. So it has further instructions here, which say to take the third card from the top of the deck. So I go back to my deck and I go down to card one, two, three. We've got an Animal Kingdom Oracle card, and it's the Sea Dragon. So I'll pop that with the Lizard. We'll talk about those two cards in just very, very soon. Okie dokie. Let's start Wednesday the 22nd of February with this guy. We haven't seen him for quite some time. It's the Gorilla, card nine. And the Gorilla says to do the right thing. 
do the right thing. So the gorilla here has a fixed energy. He's like a mountain and he's unmovable. So he's very fixed in his attitude and he looks like it, doesn't he, in his face. <laughs> he's fixed in his attitude. He's fixed in his presence and he's fixed in his position. And sometimes this is required. Most of the time, probably, maybe 90% of the time in our life, based on what I've observed, is it's good to be fl uh, fluent and flowing as best as we can and find our rhythm. But there are some situations where we do need to be fixed and we do need to hold our position in a fixed, sort of inflexible way in some ways, sometimes even verging on, on stubbornness that uh, we might need to hold our position. So there might be something going on on Wednesday, maybe for you, where you're required to really consider holding your position and being fixed in that attitude or fixed in that feeling or fixed in the decision that you've made. Um, it could also be a truth because he is also bringing forth that element of truth and doing what is right. Now, sometimes what is right to do in a situation is not necessarily what we want to do but we know that it's right. And I know for me, I might want to do this, but I know that this is what I should be doing because it's the right thing to do. That's fair in this particular situation. So I will tend to lean to what is right, the right thing to do, even if it's not really what I want, because that to me takes priority over what I want. So maybe consider too what's happening on Wednesday where you might need to consider your truth or doing what is right, what is fair, what is just to all parties involved, even if it's not really what we want. Let's do what's right, if that's important to us. So the gorilla for Wednesday. Now moving to Thursday, we have uh, Thursday the 23rd, we have these two guys, the lizard and the sea dragon. So we'll look at the lizard first. It's card three. It did come up last week. It says optimism, appearances delusion and illusion so things may not be as they appear on Thursday or around this time period of Thursday so we may need to look deeper at something we may need to get more information before we jump to conclusions we may need to look under the bonnet of the car before we decide whether to buy it we may need to read the fine print of a contract so more information is required so we can decide if we want to proceed or not. That's basically the energy of this card. There is some shedding that might be required as well. So the lizard, I'm thinking of the lizard shedding its skin, shedding part of ourselves so that we can... Um, um, now, what's the words here? Because the words that are firstly coming to mind are like be refreshed or freshen ourselves somehow... Um, with maybe a new attitude or a new position that we might find ourselves or something new that wants to come in that requires us to um, shed our old skin before we can proceed or, or move forward. So basically this is about looking deeper at something. Now the sea dragon here is card 18 and it says be gentle with yourself. So there is a fragility coming in here, a vulnerability, a sensitivity potentially for Thursday and we might feel a bit sensitive about something we might even feel overly protective about something as well we might have this gut feeling this something feels a bit not quite right inside us through a feeling and it may be connected with this card so if we need to look deeper look look at the fine print get more information our gut instinct or our feeling our intuition may be speaking to us and and we may feel that something's not quite right or we may feel that something's a bit off. So to trust that intuition and ask uh, or get a second opinion or d whatever the situation might be, but we might need more information. So let's keep that in mind for Thursday. It's Friday the 24th of February. Uh, we have card 24. I love it when that happens. It's called Expanded Love. And it says productivity, teamwork, and holding space. So productivity. This is great day on the on Friday. Sorry to work with other people, to be productive, to get things done, to get things happening, to hold space or work together with others with a common interest or a common goal or a common 
um, well, interest. <laughs> I can't think of any other words right now other than those. So working together with others for a common cause or a common interest feels uh, quite uh, important for Friday. And if we, in fact, if we have the opportunity to um, set a date or set some time to work with others, then maybe Friday's a favourable day to do that as well. So working together. So this is, when I drew this, it's two figures coming together here with their arms or energy extending around the earth. So there's a higher plan, a bigger picture, something um, something substantial in this energy that wants to come together um, and be productive and work together as a team. Saturday, the 25th of February, that's our 18th birthday at Temple of Balance. We have card 39, the Twin Flame card. And this says, Union, Love, Togetherness, Equal and Effort. This is about seeing eye to eye with, with someone. This is most likely another person. It's interesting because we've got other people around. So there's teamwork energy for Friday. We've got this partnership working together with another person here for Saturday. So it's probably going to be a really good Friday and Saturday for working or connecting with other people. So seeing eye to eye um, with another person on Saturday and it's also reminding us that all of our relationships require effort to keep them going, to keep them maintained or to, um, yeah, just to keep the engine going in our relationships of all kinds. It could be from our closest, more intimate relationships to our acquaintances, uh, our co-workers or our extended family or friends we haven't seen for a while, our school friends or that sort of thing. Effort is required to maintain all relationships effort to spend time together, effort to reach out, effort to um, catch up or effort to whatever, to listen, whatever uh, that particular relationship requires. Um, effort, for, effort to connect more intimately too with our more intimate relationships. So, you know, all relationships require effort. So if you're sitting back lately and, and bitter and, and frustrated because someone a family member or, or someone or a friend hasn't reached out to you, then why aren't you reaching out to them and why aren't you making that effort to keep that flame going between you and this person that you're connected with on whatever level it might be. So making effort in these relationships or effort as we connect with others, effort as we resolve uh, issues that we may have had too that may be feeling uncomfortable when we, we may want to resolve or find a resolution with a conflict we've had with another person. So if that's a point we're at as well, then maybe we need to reach out and make that effort to come together again or at least make peace um, if the other party's prepared for that as well. So Friday and Saturday, very much about connecting with other people. So very favourable to meet up, to connect, to spend time with other people, probably people that you don't usually spend time with. So that's feeling good for Friday and Saturday. Okay, Sunday. So Sunday, the 26th of February, we have two cards here. We've got uh, floating and the stag again. The stag keeps coming up fairly regularly. So, so for Sunday, the 26th, card 12, uh, floating. It says spontaneous calling, mental break and escape. This is about stepping away from our everyday surroundings and taking a break. It could be that we take a break on Sunday, that there's maybe some outing that we're, uh, we've already planned, or maybe on Sunday we'll be considering uh, taking a break in the days or weeks to follow. But it feels like Sunday is very favourable for taking a break, stepping out of our everyday surroundings, Going on an outing of some sort, it could be short, it could be long, it doesn't matter the length of it. But it is about stepping away from our everyday place, our everyday surroundings, to basically get a new perspective. So to take that break brings us back to our everyday setting or, or those people we spend our life with every day. Comes, we come back refreshed with a new perspective. We may go away with something happening in our mind that we're worried about or stressed about, and then that outing or that break um, maybe helps us heal, helps us calm down, 
or maybe shows us that someone's got it much worse off than we do and that actually we're doing okay and we get this perspective shift so we come back refreshed and come back with a new perspective so if you're getting bogged down if you're getting overwhelmed by life and you're struggling to cope and the last thing you probably want to do is go out into the world on Sunday you might find it really helpful to do so so if you do feel like you don't want to go anywhere uh, maybe try and remember what I'm talking about here for Sunday because if you can just go on a small outing or a short outing even just um, well it doesn't really matter you could go visiting someone you could go out into nature you could just go for a walk outside if you don't have a vehicle you could catch the bus or the train somewhere to your favorite shop and then come back because that feeling of coming back with a new perspective it can potentially be life-changing I remember this particular energy of this card several years ago maybe six or eight years ago when I was feeling really heavy with things and I was just really frustrated and I was going to give up on things some things because it was just getting felt like it was getting too much and so I took a day trip to visit my grandmother and at the time she was about three and a half hours drive to see her and I did a day trip there so it was about a seven hour um, round trip and when I went to visit her and I had my own problems I was bringing with me and I was driving and I was trying to clear those out of my head and I got to visit her and she was really sad that day because a couple of her friends had recently passed away and she was probably you know around in her late 80s or nine early 90s um, and I was there to comfort and support her and it made my problems feel you know just really not that important so I came back so refreshed and with such a new perspective and it always reminds me of this card and I'm in fact I think this card came up for me about that particular day so I remember that really clearly and how changed I was when I came back just from that visit to see her and see that actually my stuff really wasn't that big of a deal so just you know sometimes we need new perspective on things things may not be as bad as what we think and what we're stressed and what we're worried and overwhelmed about so stepping away and seeing others or just stepping into nature can give us that perspective shift we need and uh, that may be necessary for some of us on Sunday now or some of us may just need a break simply also for Sunday we have our friend <laughs> the stag card 42 and it says new direction again and this seems to come up it feels like every second week for the last six or eight weeks it's just kind of consistently there popping in reminding us that we are or maybe some of us have already uh, but we are perhaps in the process of stepping into a new direction and maybe taking this break as well or stepping away uh, going on an outing of some sort short or long maybe that will also help realign us with that um, that new direction that we are uh, moving towards maybe we've been getting a bit worried about it maybe things aren't happening the way we hoped so maybe that's part of what the pressure is that we feel that we're under is this new thing that we've got going on that may be hitting a, an obstacle or, or some type of problem at this time so taking a break getting perspective but also aligning further with this new path and this new direction that many of us have been called to to take uh, probably for the last weeks and if not months we could say so are you aligned are you feeling clear and are you feeling on track with this new direction that you're going or do you need to make some adjustments right now especially Sunday to uh, get yourself into a new alignment make a few adjustments especially with your thinking to help get you back on track um, and remember why you started and sometimes this is really important especially for things that are ongoing and this is a new thing or something that's been going on for quite some time maybe months maybe years sometimes it's good to just stop and remember why we started why did you start in this new direction and just give you that new perspective that shift to help you keep going and help you see this through this new direction that you're going in so that's for Sunday Monday the 27th of February which is our birthday activities we have this great card it's the ladybug 
and the ladybug's card 31 and it says a favorable time this is the good luck card in the deck and it talks about abundance so um finances that we need good health things being resolved um there is a general sense of good fortune we could say or good luck around with particular things that we might be doing on monday so monday might be a great day to also schedule some meeting or or do something that we need sort of have to have luck behind us if you like so a favorable time on monday so that's really good <coughs> excuse me and for tuesday the 28th of february my baby's birthday my real baby's birthday my special daughter's birthday on tuesday and it's card 31 called expression this says communication listen share deliver and trust oh that feels like it comes with a punch doesn't it trust are you trusting in yourself especially by the time you get to tuesday are you trusting in the decisions that you you've been making or that you have to make right now and especially because this is the communication card are you trusting in what needs to be said are you trusting in what you're hearing are you trusting in perfect timing that's lining you up especially with communication so right time right place to hear that thing to say that thing now just because something's important for us to say just because something's important for us to talk about doesn't mean that we need to blurt everything out because we have to say it sometimes there is power in quiet and sometimes in fact often in fact it's probably equal isn't it it's probably equal like a giving and receiving what we say equally balanced with what we hear so are we balanced in what we're saying and what we're listening to um, so just let's make sure on Tuesday that we're not dominating um, conversations let's say with all this stuff that we need to say that we're actually equally balancing that out with listening and let other people say what they want to say so in a conversation it would be nice if sometimes like 50% of what's uh, said is from us and 50% of what is said is from others so we're listening we're sharing we're listening we're sharing so just because we've got a lot to say doesn't mean that we it's it's right or we should be saying it all the time so there's a communication balance that wants to come in but if there's something on our mind if there's something that we've got on the tip of our tongue that we need to say to get off our chest and we've been sitting silently with it for a while then we might find might find on tuesday that this is a favorable time to say what we need to say and hopefully there are others who are listening so we have that balance of uh, expression of speaking of listening uh, and trusting in ourselves on Tuesday so a great time to clear the air probably and communicate but also listen so in general there is a few there's a few cards here around other people um, and maybe that bit of a social element or that need to sort of step out of our cave step out of our quiet place step out of holding back for some of us there are others of us who probably are in a space of rest or a space of quiet because we have been busy so it really depends on what we need for our balance what we need personally so thank you so so much for joining me today I am going to pull a card for the theme so I'll do that in just a minute before I do I want to thank you so much for joining me today if you have enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button please show us some love please comment or share if you're inspired to and if you'd like to connect more privately please send us a message through our website so I've got lots of things going on at the moment first of all the big news is my healing energy cards here I grabbed these because I I grabbed the wrong deck so I suppose they're handy to have my speed of, uh, sorry my healing energy cards which are two decks healing one healing energy cards one and healing energy cards two which I've combined in here both of these decks are um, open for pre-orders we will hear very soon that they've they're on their way to us and we can set the online launch date 
which will probably be early March and um, also when the cards will be shipped out to you. So if you've been waiting on the Healing Energy cards, because um, I've been in creation for a few years now, then uh, pre-orders are open. So thanks so much. Have a check those out on my website. Also on Friday, this Friday the 24th, is um, my next card reading club. So on Zoom and we meet up once a month and we have a theme and we pull our own cards and I offer you tips if needed and we spend about an hour looking at cards and finding the guidance that we need from the cards. It's a great hour to spend so if you would love to join in um, you can find the details on my website and also on Friday later in the day is my monthly online art class and our theme is Out of the Shadows uh, so we're going to be exploring that through conversation and then we're going to be creating some art around Out of the Shadows. That will go for about two hours and that's later on Friday, my time, which could be Friday morning for you. So you can find out about um, those on my website, templeofbalance.com.au. And of course, I've got my Temple of Balance 18th birthday. Can't believe it, 18 years uh, is happening on Monday. So the birthday's on Saturday, but I won't be here so on Monday, we're doing uh, birthday activities all day, uh, five different activities uh, if you'd like to join in. I think it's about, uh, well, it is Australian $30 to join for all of them or $10 each, which works out to be, I think it was about six US dollars each or about 20 something. It might have been 20 or 22 US dollars to join in for those. And if you can't join live, you'll get the video of those as well so lots of things happening at temple of balance and you can grab yourself a deck of these cards as well if you want templeofbalance.com.au okay let's look for the best theme card the theme card will help us see the bigger picture for this week so the bigger picture is good to find in all of our nitty-gritty situations that we're going through what is the bigger picture here it can help give us perspective so the best card for our theme, the majority of us for the 22nd to the 28th of February 2023 is this card. It's a speed of light. It doesn't matter if it's upside down. Oh, oh yes. Okay, so this very much aligns with what I've already talked about as a bit of a theme. It's Tiger Claw. Tiger Claw is card 40. And it says to stand your ground, speak, action, and courage this is about clearing the air getting your claws into something and saying something that needs to be said not just because you're prattling on with nonsense but if there's something on the tip of your tongue if there's something in the air if there's something that's uncomfortable to you and you've been quiet on it because you didn't want to uh, say for whatever reason you might find this week there's an opportunity for you to stand up and and say what you need to say when this other person is listening maybe they don't usually listen but there is an opportunity this week for potentially clearing the air whether they listen or not it doesn't really matter as long as we can get that that we've been that's been bubbling and brewing and bottling bottled up inside us if we can get that out and express that and if we haven't done it by Tuesday then Tuesday is certainly going to be a great day to do that because of the energy of the daily cards so we might need to clear the air we may need to stand our ground this week in certain situations not always we may need to stand our ground we may need to get our claws into something that we've been tolerating or been submissive about for perhaps too long. Maybe we need to step up and say, no, I will not be treated this way. Or, yes, I am going to give this a go, depending on the situation. So whatever you've been holding back on, whatever you've been silent about, whatever you've been quiet about, or what you've been complaining about, listen to these things. And see what is it telling you? What is it teaching you? Where is it directing you to go? If you've been complaining about something for a long time or someone, then what can you do to resolve this so you stop complaining? So notice what you're complaining about. Notice what you're silent about. 
and where you need to build your courage to step up and speak up if that is appropriate for this situation. And, you know, it's not easy to speak up, especially if we've been had things bottled up for a while or if we're uncomfortable, or if we don't feel safe around a certain person. We can feel weakened. We can feel scared. We may even speak like it sounds like we're going to cry or our voice is shaky. So if you can prepare yourself, if you know what this situation is and you know that the time is coming, it's brewing, that you're going to have to say something, then you can prepare yourself by building your courage to speak up and to step up. It may be a spontaneous situation that, you know, you've been silent for a while and something happens and you just say it, you know, without any preparation. But in some ways, I feel like there's likely going to be some preparation. So what we can do is take the time to build our courage to do this. So it could be writing in our journal and writing out a script or writing down clearly so we're clear in our own mind and our own heart what it is we need to say. What do we need to get across to this person that we haven't been able to say recently or say before. So writing it in our journal can help us get clear in our head. Point form or a script. We could just go over and over. We can even reread it so that we're really super clear on what it is we have to say or what it is we have to clear the air about. And build our courage to do this. Rather than going in in a really timid way, we're probably going to get shot down or even... Um, an aggression back at us so we might need to prepare ourselves by building our courage and preparing whatever it is that we need to say if that's appropriate for that specific situation for you so we might find ourselves courageous assertive standing our ground this week there are certainly a lot of connections with other people potentially um, so let's keep that in mind some beautiful productivity some um, working together with others, seeing eye to eye with other people as well, communication, but there may be this call to be assertive in some. So I'll leave that with you. Thanks so much. My connection just dropped, so hopefully you can still hear me. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great week ahead, and I'll be back to share with you again very soon. Lots of love, and bye for now.